and there's a narrative out that's saying that <coughs> women should get married first and then focus on their career and all this other shit because they can't be a, a full-time mom and have a full-time career. And women have a certain amount of time to have kids. Women have a certain amount of time to have kids. So a lot of men are saying that women should find a man first and then do all this other shit. Now, again, there's always levels to shit. There's always different situations to shit. I agree and I don't agree. It all depends. A lot of men want women to believe, well, get you a high value man instead of getting a career first because you only got so long to have kids. Your prime as far as your looks is only a certain amount of time, certain age, etc. And I get it to a certain extent. But the problem is, just because a guy's a high value man, whatever that is in whoever's eyes, you know, it's all different in everybody's eyes. But let's just stick to he's really a high value man. Just because he is, don't mean that he's going to stick with the woman. So why should a woman put her career on hold and not go out and get uh, her life established the way that she needs it to be established? Why should she put her career on hold and depend on some guy like he's God, basically? Like the guy's her lifeline. That's the issue here. See, what really is the problem is, here's what there really needs to be. I'm not going to tell women what, what a lot of these men are telling women out here. I'm not going to tell you to put your career on hold. But I will tell you this. The issue is not a woman establishing her career first before she has a kid, because why the fuck wouldn't she? The real issue is her waiting until 28, 29 to start doing that shit. That's the issue. So as far as a woman, hell no, she shouldn't depend on some high value man because that high value man might cheat on her or whatever and she might have to leave him. And then she's stuck with no career or, or you know, yeah, no career a kid, etc. What needs to really happen, and if you're a, why this working today, what really needs to happen is, especially if you're a younger woman watching, pay attention. What really needs to happen is women need to start working on their careers and shit immediately. Stop all the playing around, the partying, and all this other shit. That's what really needs to happen. So, honestly, as a woman, from 18 years old, from the time you're able to start doing certain shit, you know, establishing your career, you should do that first. And while you're doing that, you should be trying to uh, find the right guy, too. I do agree on the fact that you shouldn't play around, and then when you're 30, then you want to find the right guy. I don't agree with that. Because now you, uh, I just feel like a woman can attract a better guy when she's younger. Not always, but in a lot of cases. Because let's keep in mind, a woman can't wait forever to have kids. You see what I'm saying? And let's keep in mind, a woman's looks ain't going to last forever. I'm not saying that you can't be 40 years old and fine because there are some 40-year-old women. Shit, I've even seen them 50 years old look better than some 20 year old women. So, fuck, I, I hate that shit. I didn't see 
50 year old women look better than 20 year old women sometimes. So, you know, I mean, it's possible. But I just feel like um, I wouldn't take that chance. The problem is, this is what's really going on. The women are playing around in their 20s. Some of them are getting their career. Yeah, that's a good thing. But then they're playing around and shit, and, and um, they act like they got forever. Or they get with men who like to play around, and so the men who are serious, and then they end up single mothers because of that. Because they got with a guy that's not serious. You know what I'm saying? He was funner. Yeah, he was funner than the serious guys. You know, good guys are boring. Bad guys are fun. You know, you heard it before. But the results of that is a serious problem. And that's the issue. So again, like, when you hear, like, people like Fresh and Fit and all them say that you need to get a high-value man first before you get a career, don't do that. Get your career first. Get your career first, but the issue is too many women are waiting to get their career. They're not starting at 18. You're not starting working towards your career at 18. You're playing around those years and partying and kicking it. And then you want to try to get your career at 27, even 25, you know what I mean? Which is nothing wrong with that. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Like if you're trying to be a doctor, it's going to take a minute. Shit like that. But as long as you was working towards getting your shit. That's the key. Instead of playing around, partying, and all this other shit. So, like I say all the time, a woman doesn't have time to play around, man. Once you turn 18, it's time to it's time to get serious. It ain't time to play. You should have played when you was 15, 18. Once you turn 18, you can't play. You can play later once you establish yourself and get yourself in a great position. Then you can kind of play around again. But in between that window of starting to get your career and shit going and actually getting on on top of your, your career and on top of life and shit, you can't really play. You got work to do. But some women don't even want kids or family. So, I mean, it's different strokes for different folks. But if you are a woman that want a family one day and a husband one day, then you have to start your career immediately. As soon as you turn 18, you got to start working on your career because you want to be established by like 25. Then you get to start thinking about maybe you already know the guy. But now you can start thinking about having that family and you already established. You can't really depend on a guy like he's God. You just can't. You can't do it. He's not God. He can cross you. He can leave you. But if he does leave you or cross you after you have kids with him and stuff like that, at least you're already established. Versus, I found a high value guy. I'm just going to put my career on hold and marry him and have kids with him. And then he leave or whatever. You know, y'all break up. And now you don't have no career. As a woman, that's not cool. Because now how you going you gonna to struggle? You gonna have kids and stuff. And I mean, the guy might not even, he could be a high value man and be a deadbeat. I mean, it's all kind of stuff that's going on here. So for the women, man, don't listen to uh, what they're saying when they say, um, if you find a high value man, put your career on hold and depend on him like you got, because you can't depend on him. You know, I, I do agree with the part of, you know, you don't want to play around. You don't want to uh, wait till too late and then try to find a guy because it's going to be harder. You could attract better guys when you when you're younger and shit like that as a woman. But the key is starting your career early so you can um have a bigger window. And by the time you really got your career set and you, you you basically on your feet as far as your life, you only like 25 or something. You see what I'm saying? Versus you 30 something and doing it. It's, it how you going, it's hard to have kids when you're 30 something as a woman. I'm not saying it's not possible. It is. Anything's possible. 
but it just gives you a better opportunity. So what men really need to be telling women on these channels is to start their career right away and, and don't depend on a man. It's the truth. Not saying men don't have value in a woman's life. The right man does. The right man does. Not just any man. The right man has a, a lot of value in a woman's life. So does the right woman in the man life. They got to be the right one person. Now, as far as you dudes, see, nobody's holding these men accountable either. Well, you, your prime, you got a prime forever. You ain't got no wall, dog. See, this is where we got a problem at. Okay, maybe a man might not have a wall, which you want to call a wall, even though he really do. But let's just say he don't, since everybody claim a man don't have a wall. You still have a window. If you're a young guy watching, understand, you still have a window. Joe Burrow can't wait till 30 years old to be Joe Burrow. Michael Jordan couldn't wait till 30 years old to be Michael Jordan. LeBron James couldn't wait till 30 years old to be LeBron James. Yeah, he could have been successful. Yeah, you can get your life together at any age of, of your life. But there's only certain things that you're going to be able to do in this life at certain windows in your life. And if you don't grab it right then and there, just like a woman having uh, kids at a certain age, if you don't do it right then and there, you're probably never going to be able to do it. So you got to ask yourself about this wall and I'm a man and I can sleep around with everybody bullshit that, that's going on out this motherfucker. You got to ask yourself, is it worth the sacrifice? Is it worth it to lose being a, having the chance of being LeBron James for for a partying and some women that probably ain't even going to be in your life? Or partying and kicking it with some women that's probably going to end up like Felicia instead of Savannah? Or Beyonce. Go end up like Felicia instead of Beyonce. Now you can't get Beyonce because you're not Jay-Z. Because you fumbled your fucking opportunity. Thinking that because you a man, that you can do whatever you want and move how you want and all this other shit. And it's all cat. It's all lies. A man, actually a man has more of a responsibility to, to move correctly versus a woman. Because a man can't rely on just being a woman and looking good and, and just bumping into some high value man that wants to be a man in a woman's life and change her life. That That's rare for a man to bump into some woman that wants to do that. And even if you did as a man, how can you really feel like a man that way? So you're not going to be satisfied with the shit. You know what I'm saying? As a man, it don't make you feel good if you took your care of by a woman. It, it might be cool and all, but deep down inside, you don't like that shit. That's not your order. For a woman, it's her order to be took a care of by a man. So it's 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 normal for them. It's not odd, it's not weird for a woman to be taken care of. But for a man it is. So unless you want to be like one of these women and bump into a woman, you know, bump into somebody that's gonna take care of you, then you don't have that luxury of playing around. You don't have that luxury of well, I don't have no wall, I'm a man and shit. You can't have that mentality. Even if it is true in a, some cases, it don't matter. You still shouldn't have that mentality that I don't have a wall. That's why you're not going to be LeBron James. LeBron James did not become LeBron James thinking, man, I got forever. Let me party and shit for a while. Nah, he was already in the league at 18, but he had a grind when he was 15, 16. You see what I'm saying? He was grinding from day one. Floyd. A boxer. Boxing as a little kid. Even Tyson Fury, which is really why why um, he, he could beat Wilder. Other than being able to get up off the canvas in, in the long count, but we're not going to talk about those two long counts. But the point is, Fury has been in boxing all his life, so you know Wilder has not. Imagine if Wilder was in boxing all his life. Dog, he wouldn't even be close. Wilder was smoke fury. It wouldn't even be close. But that experience, man, it, it puts you, it, you have to put in the work, man. Ain't no way around this shit. Ain't no way around this shit. You got to put in the work. And how you going to put in the work if you was playing around at first? And then when you 18, now you want to, now you want to, uh, let me say it like this. Now you're 25. Now you want to act right. 
Now you want to start stop partying and chasing women and shit. You should have been doing that. As a man, you got to, you have to uh, produce. A woman really don't have to unless she, especially if she look good. Now she don't look that good. She's not getting a lot of men. Even then, she could choose, but she might not. She might not want the guy. So, still kind of like she has to produce, but not as not even nearly as much as a man. A man, it's it's guaranteed as a man that you got to produce. So that they're telling y'all as men to wait and play around too. They're telling you don't get don't get married, don't get a woman right now, do this and do that. And the re- and I agree to a certain extent, but if you find the right girl in high school or something that has not been defiled by a bunch of men and all that shit and turned into a bad girl, good girl, not going bad yet, you might want to just get with that chick right there. You ain't got to marry her yet. You ain't got to live with her yet. And you ain't got to put your career on hold and all that shit. But you might want to deal with that woman right then instead of wait. You know, it's the same. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or man. Because if a man waits, not only is he going to get older and bald and all this. Yeah, he got money and all that. But if you if a woman only wants you for money, is it really legit? That's why I say men do have a wall. Because you, the ultimate goal is for a woman to want you for you. Hugh Hefner got women because he got money. Not because he not because he don't have a wall. You know what I'm saying? He got a wall. But, and not only that, the longer you men wait and play around and shit, and I got all the time in the world, you know, you're going to have to settle for less, uh, less women too. You might... You might get lucky and find a woman who didn't uh, who didn't let the streets get the best of her, basically. You might, there's a couple of out there. I ain't gonna cut. Like I said, I've seen 50 year olds that look better than some 20 year olds. So there's some out there, but it, it, it's slimmer. You have a way better chance when you're younger to get the, the, a good woman, man. And she might not be a so-called real fully grown woman yet, but she's not defiled and she's not turned bad. You know what I mean? They usually turn bad when they like the guy in high school or some shit. When they like somebody younger and they got heartbroken. Maybe they did it a few times and then they turn bad. And now they want to be players and shit on men and use men and all this other shit. And the same thing vice versa with the woman. Same thing. This is why women can't find love longer. This is why a woman needs to lock down a man at a younger age. Or at least try if he's a good guy. If you don't find it yet, just don't find it yet. wasn't It wasn't in the cars, I guess. But nine times out of ten, they can't find it. They just want to play around or do some other shit. Same thing with a man. Nine times out of ten, he can't find a a, a, a good woman when he's younger. But he want to play around and shit. And then when he gets older, a lot of those women have been heartbroken and destroyed, and they turn bad and they players and all this and all that. Same thing with the woman, vice versa. Now it's even harder. You know what I mean? You should have just locked down something when you had a chance. You can't be playing out here, man. Don't listen to these dudes that's telling y'all men, go ahead and just fuck everybody. Because, like I said, LeBron James cannot be LeBron James at 30 years old. He had to do it then. Joe Burrow had to do it then. All those guys that you see doing greatness, they had to do it then. They did not have time to play around. Then, oh yeah, at 30, I'm going to be LeBron. No, it's too late. It's too late, bro. So if you want to sacrifice the chance of being LeBron James, when I say that, I mean that type of stature of a, a guy making money and all that shit. If you want to sacrifice that as a young man, you want to sacrifice that for some women and some partying and some beer and shit, go ahead. But but remember, you, you, you remember you can't get it back once it's gone. It's over with. They're not telling y'all that as men. They're telling you you ain't got no wall. And the only def- their only definition of a man not having a wall is being able to fuck women. That's not the objective here. The objective is to be a solid-ass, top-tier guy, you know, with generational wealth and, and basically king-like status. It's not The objective is not to fuck with a whole bunch of women. That's why they think a motherfucker ain't got no wall. You do got a wall. I mean, I call it a window. So you trying to tell me if if I party and shit, 
If I choose to party and shit at a young age, you know, the wall not going to close in on me to be LeBron James or to be one of those, you know, great people that you can only be if you start at a young age, a Floyd Mayweather or something. You see the results of Wilder starting at 18 and Fury starting all his life. And honestly, if, if they both start at the same time, Wilder would smoke Fury. It would not even be close. It just wouldn't be. Let's be honest about it because he really even with him now. He, he, Fury got a slight edge because he got experience in footwork, angles, and all that shit. You know what I mean? Wilder's still green. He, he, still, he never worked on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it alone counts. We, we, we're not going to keep talking about that, though. But this video gone too long. I want to say no more. Uh, everybody got to, uh, everybody needs to get on it as soon as possible. You cannot waste time, man. It, as a woman, you can't waste time because you want to have a career. So if a man does leave, it doesn't work out, you can still take care of your kids and yourself. And you want to try to get the right guy while they're younger, while they haven't been defiled and they are all broken and they hate women now and all this other shit. He not, you know what I mean? Bald yet and all this shit. I'm not being funny. I'm just being honest. Like, because looks fade on men too and all this shit. Need Viagra and all that crazy shit. Hope to God it never happens to me. But you get the point. You know, or he might have kids. A lot of the men might have kids now if you wait. As a woman, if you wait, a lot of the men you come across, it's, it's, it, you had a better chance. You had a better pickings then when you was younger versus waiting. Now, sometimes it's not your fault. I get it. But y'all get the point of what I'm trying to make. Stop playing around. So if you're a woman and you want a high value man and you want a family, then you got to get on your career immediately as soon as you turn 18. Or if you watch it right now, get on it today. I don't care how old you are. It's never too late. But do not wait till later. Then you're going to try to get the career and the high, and the uh, kids because you it's going to be too much to juggle all that shit. But if I establish my career first, then I get pregnant. Now I can take off because I already got my career established, right? And I can always come back to that after I, I'm done having a kid or, or after the kid's three or four years old and can go to school. Now I can go back to my career. Or even worse, if the dad decides, if, the, if it doesn't work out with the dad, I'm not a struggling single parent. But if I play around and try to do it all in this 25 to 30 range, right? Do it all at once. It's going to be a serious problem because my career is not established. So what if it doesn't work out with the dad? Now, where do I go? You see what I'm saying? So they got it right when they telling y'all don't play around and don't put your career. Uh, <clears throat> don't focus on your career till 30, then get a man. They got it right to a certain extent. But what they're not saying is you should be focusing on that career from day one instead of partying. As soon as you turn 18, you should be serious. You know what I'm saying? And, and as far as the men, they got it right as far as like, okay, yeah, you don't got a wall as far as you can pull younger women and all this and you 40, 50, whatever. Yeah, but what about um, king-like status? You know, this takes a lifetime. This is a lifetime work. This is lifetime work. This is lifetime work. And sometimes if you don't start working at a certain window, certain things, you're just never going to be able to reach. You're just never going to be able to reach it. A 40-year-old man can't say, I'm going to try to be Jay-Z now. I mean, it's possible, but man, good luck with that. Better hit the fucking lottery or some shit for millions because I don't see it no other way because it takes time. You got to grind. You got to build. You know, you don't come, you don't become no Jay Z, no Floyd, no LeBron James, no none of that over no night, dog. That shit don't happen overnight. That shit take time, man. <clears throat> that shit take time. But they telling y'all men that you don't have no consequences for doing the same things that women do, waiting until later to try to get this great guy or whatever. Nah, you got consequences, bro. <laughs> Because, like, let's just say you become a high value man, you waited, you played around, now you want a wife. Well, guess what? A lot of these women 
have been destroyed by men or they're wiped up already. You know what I'm saying? Versus when you was 18 through 25, when you wanted to play around. All those great women you passing up on and shit more because you listen to the motherfuckers tell you you ain't got no window. You got a window, dog. Man or woman, we got windows. We cannot play around in life, man. Get it while the getting is good. Woman got to start right away. You got to start on your career right away. Then, don't play, though. Don't be like, oh, I got good men all in my face. I'm going to play until 30. Then I'm going to try to switch it up. Nah, because you got to have kids at a certain age when you're a woman. You can't wait till you're like 40. It's possible. But don't do that shit, man. Don't play around. You young men, you can't be LeBron James at 30, dog. You got to start right away. You know what I mean? You can't, you got to start right away. Certain things in life, you cannot make up. Like, you can't make up the ground that you you basically bullshitted on. You just can't do it. Now, if we talking about you just want to fuck with it, yeah, you can do that all your life. As a man, yeah, you ain't got no wall on that. Hugh Hefner, whatever. But we're talking about being king-like status. Every day is a grind. You got to start from day one. And women don't really have that burden because if she look good and shit like that, she can always kind of get a, a man that want to take care of her and shit like that. That's what men do. That's what we want to do. We want to, like, take care of women, especially a woman to deserve it. But as a man, we really don't have that option, man. Unless, unless you've been fucking with the woman, you've been taking care of her, now you need her to take care of you for a while. That's a whole different story. But honestly... Stop playing around, y'all. Y'all got to get busy. Get to work. That's all I got to say about this shit for now. You know what I mean? I hope that you young men, I hope y'all listening. And don't play around. Don't listen to other people telling y'all y'all got forever because you don't. Y'all women don't got forever either. Everybody say play around until you're 30, then, then take life serious. I say take life serious as soon as you turn 18. As soon as you're grown and your parents are ready to kick your ass out, you better start taking that shit serious. From day one, you can't play around. Even though I'm guilty of playing around, I didn't take shit serious for a while. Everybody has. I mean, to a certain extent. But, yeah, don't don't wait till you're 30. Then I'm going to try to take life serious. Because you could do so much more shit. Again, LeBron James would not be LeBron James if he waited till 30. Mike Tyson would not have been Mike Tyson if he waited till 30. Mike Tyson was a champion at 20 years old. But he had to put in the grind. He didn't just wake up and I'm a champ at 20. No, that shit, he been doing that shit for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You don't wake up and you just become this great person. That shit had to put in work. Some rappers, they don't, uh, some rappers you see, they didn't just wake up and now they a rapper overnight. They've been selling tapes out of their trunk for probably 15, 20 years before they got their fucking shot, man. This shit ain't to be played with, man. Wake the fuck up, man. Get busy.